I feel like for me at the minute, the, the bad shot was a hook. Yeah, and just turn. I was hooking every iron shot. Yeah. The drivers were snap hooking. It, the hooking got bad. So smooth, work it up, and then turn towards it. Okay, that was actually really nice. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Right, today is something I feel like we haven't done for so long. Ideally, I was going to get a lesson of Chris in Ireland, but I was playing well, so Chris said I didn't need a lesson, <laughs> even though I wanted a lesson. I feel like I still am playing all right okay there's a few little bits that obviously need fine tuning you always need fine tuning so i've came down in chris's neck of the woods today we're in uh luton who christoph we're here he's back he's in back in business um yeah it's been a while it's been a long while i would say like ireland like elaborate on that it's not that you didn't need a lesson but there's such thing as over coaching yeah we were playing six rounds of golf in three days <laughs> you, you know there was not did. much time <laughs> you didn't want to fry in your head <laughs> But yeah, that, that, that's good as well. Like I say, it does fry your head. We try and keep things minimal in summer because obviously you're playing a lot. In there winter, you, you dive a lot more into technique and them bits and bobs. I feel like for me at the minute, the, the bad shot was a hook. Mm -hmm. I've kind of somehow got a feel for irons that's really fixed that. Mm -hmm. Just need to check that's working with you. Mm -hmm. um, same with driver. So I think it'll be a completely different shot that you've seen me play. Yep. Which will be interesting to get your take on it and then maybe just fine tune that or take things out so or whatever. You, last few rounds since you've sort of self-coached yeah, to a degree, yeah, you, so what, what do you feel you has been what happening? I did, I did, I went from yep. the ladder drill shot mm -hmm. to taking that to my full swing. Yep. So I've really, that's really, obviously ladder drills were this kind of shot. I've then took that into a full shot, which I love. But what I was doing is I was coming way too on the inside mm -hmm. and I was, I was hooking every iron shot. Yep. Drivers were snap hooking, it, the hooking got bad. Um, driver, weirdly, for a while, what fixed it, I was just setting up and I was just opening the fit like that. I was really shuffling in it. Mm -hmm. and look, and then I was just grabbing it and hitting it. Probably the same because the face was so open at the start, I was just nailing Push it. Push it. Like, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So that worked for a little bit. And then irons, I just couldn't get my head around it. So then irons now, what I've been doing is, let's say, I, I, I do the same thing, take it away. But my first feel is kind of like, I just push my back to the target, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I'd go up back to target and then I swing round and that's got rid of that hook and it comes it was up. a pull hook right it was starting left going left it was yeah so now I feel like I'm starting the ball right and with driver it literally starts right it's weird for me to to see because I've never seen never that done it. I've never seen that my draws is to start in the middle and draw left yeah to start the ball some drives like it's so do you, do you know I guess what I, all your stuff you're saying I can get but like for people watching do you know what now, what, when you, by you staying closed a little bit, yeah. what is that doing? Well, what I think is because my first initial thought is push my back. Because my, I think of that, what I think it does is my hands drop. Okay, that most might, might be what it feels. But you're 100% right. So the ladder drill feel that you said at the start, but so people know, you know, we, we try and keep a one-to-one -one ratio. So we try and get the torso and the arms working together, right? Yeah. And that's how we measure the length of the swing and get yeah. a repeatable distance. To do that in the full swing, what you were probably doing is you were turning and if you were just trying to turn everything together if you think this is an, you know an extension of the club face if i just turn you know i'm more likely going to smother that's, it yeah and that's that what was I was the shot you were having so yeah. by you feeling like you're staying closed i haven't checked this yet but theory yeah. is your pressure shift into the left yeah the club is then falling back in front of the and chest and then it comes around then you have permission to rotate without yeah. smothering so that's what it that theory what makes sense that's what i think i've done <laughs> whether it's any good or not i don't know it sounds good <laughs> so small pull Could swing that one. That'll probably be the worse one, a little bit thin. Yeah, a little thin. Actually, that's pure. That was pure, yeah. But there will be a point, right? This is the thing to say about feelings. We'll talk about the pattern in a minute, but say, for example, you could notice it yourself that you were, you were say, you're early rotating, sending everything, you know, you were smothering it left. By yeah. doing that for the first few days, you're going to find a nice compromise of, you know, if you keep doing that for two or three weeks, eventually it's going to come to a point where it's too much. Yeah. yeah. Then you've just turned it off and gone, oh my God, I've pulled it. Now you're going to be thinking, should I do it? Should I not? Yeah. That's golf, right? Yeah. But the theory remains the same. So from the data standpoint, the path is almost perfect every time right but the the low point is a little bit inconsistent right okay so where the club is bottoming out yeah not the where it's on the contact in the ground but you know the end of the the golf swing so what i see and i'll show you on the camera and we'll look at the data at the moment is and it's very very small you know you're a little bit across the line at the top yeah you know and that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're someone who's got a bit of a longer swing it will appear across the line and that's not too bad but if you're just short of parallel like you are 
and the club gets a little bit across the line. If I don't change that now and just move down, how would you describe that shaft? Steep. Yeah, slightly steep. Now, you can be steep and still swing from the inside. Steep doesn't mean over the top. You're not over the top, yeah. you're slightly steep. So I would call it straight and steep, okay? okay? But because you're a good player, you being slightly steep early means that you have to shallow it late. And you're shallowing it by, and I'll show you, by staying closed and sliding a bit, right? right? So if I stay closed and slide a bit, that's gonna shallow it, but that causes me to sometimes fat it, fat it and thin it. So that's why I'm getting fats and thins. Yeah, and it's, we're talking like a couple of degrees. But if you think of the opposite end of the theory, if, for example, we were you know, shoulder height and the club's centre of mass was slightly this side of the hands as opposed to this side of the hands, right. in theory now, I don't need to do anything. And how now, how would you describe that shaft? Shallow. Shallower, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be shallow, just yeah, shallower, yeah. right? Right, or on plane, which means now I don't need to shallow it late because I'm already shallow, so I can actually turn onto it. So the issue I see is more from face on, and I'll show you. You look a little bit like this, sliding and holding on for dear life. Right. right? When I typically see that, that means it's usually steep, and then you're shallowing it late and holding that face. So I've got the puff. I've got the puff. Better. Puff is fine. Puff is fine. It's just the the one. The, but what you've done is good. You've self coached to a degree. You've gone. I'm starting it left, and it's going left. All right. So I need to start it right. What do I know in my arm yeah, yeah. to do that? So the tool I'm going to use is. If I stay closed longer, it's the, going to help me swing more to the right. The puff is better, yeah. So you've, you've been able to start it right, but you could see there was a couple of big blocks, a couple of overdraws. Yeah, yeah. And so, that's because I'm getting stuck in here. And that's because the path's good, but you're too far back. Right. Because if I'm too far back, I'm exaggerating here, if I'm back here, right, but well, obviously, ultimately that club head has got more likely going to pass. This would make sense, right, where I've stopped hitting three wood and seven wood. Yeah, you'll stop it a lot. Mate, everything. I there you go. I just called that straight away. I put four on the tee the idea, three wood, and tried, I was like nailing driver, I was going back to it. And I was yeah, like, it's on a big tee. And you see it lower? No, I, mean, I, I, topped, I topped every single yeah. three wood. I literally haven't hit three wood or seven woods for about yeah. two weeks. So you, so you haven't told me that, but you can see from that yeah, pattern, yeah. When, the, when the centre of mass is too far back, and the low point is early, you, your attack angle isn't, so your attack angle and your low point were inconsistent. A couple yeah. of them fine, which is when you time it okay. A couple of them too far back, fats and thins. <clears throat> so the fix is really easy, right? We need to get the club head halfway down from here to here. Okay. Then your body will realise, okay, I'm organised, I have permission now to turn onto it, and that'll be it. Okay. Right, so we're going to start by, in theory, all we're going to do is try and feel at the top of the backswing, we're sure. a little more laid off, as opposed to across the line, right? I'm right. going to find a very manageable, simple feel for this. So grab the, grab the wedge again to start, because I've got more data on that. Let's just play around with a couple of feels first. Right, swing up to the top, and stop. Swing more, a little bit straighter towards my feet, so less in. Yep, and at the top, you don't have to go as far as that, but it's going to probably feel a little bit more like that. Can you feel the difference in where that club is? No. So usually you're here, exaggerated, yeah. slightly across. I want it more here. Now, all you're going to do to do that, really simple, is feel a little bit wider in the backswing. Because at the moment, what you're doing, just ever so slightly early, is you're rolling the club in a bit. Right. It's getting to a point where it can't go anymore, and then it's toppling across you. All I want you to do is go wider. So pick something, say, my foot and just swing, to, that's directly behind the 100, swing towards me and just stop at the top. Stop, perfect. So now, I don't know if you can feel this, but it's over there. Yeah. So now, for, in theory, if you now rotate as you do, you don't need to, you can, you can do the back thing or not, but I would just say recenter yourself. Now look at that shaft, that feels different to normal, yeah? Yeah. And then from here, you feel like you ain't got back up, you can then get, you almost get onto it, and you'll feel like a lot more on top of it. So do you think I should do that? Backswing for the path for that. Um, let's just do the backswing alignment thing and yeah. see how the body reacts to that, yeah? So I don't want to add too many thoughts here. Stop there. And then just chip it gently. Good. So that, so that now is shallower, so you're thinning it, right? So you've got to stay on top of it. Your body yeah. will react to that. Same again, just a little bit wider and stop at the top. Yeah, and just turn. Right, so with that, right, with this pattern, you can see how you're thinning it, right? Yeah. That's because the shaft is now shallow, and I'll show you. You now don't need to do any manipulation in theory. You don't have to try and prolong anything. You can then just turn oh, onto it. Just do my, what I was doing before. Yeah, just, it's simple. Because look, I'll show you. So I was not if you look at the difference of the backswing. So you get to the top. It's more on plane, right? You yeah. can see how it's kind of pointing more towards your target. Oh, yeah. So that means halfway down, if we stop it just here, you can see the shaft is now shallower. Right, so that'll, that's what I was trying to do with the back thing. I don't need you were, you were right. doing it with the hand path. You were going steep. But what I'll do is I'll keep keep my body closed well now I, I do drop my hands but yeah. now the hands you said it are too trapped 
which means you they throw out and then right. you get that inconsistency. So I can go back to what I was doing before. Just realign the backswing a bit wider and then just do your normal downswing. How did that feel? Yeah, I didn't do the, I didn't do that, but I didn't do the back thing. I just did what you but said. It's simpler, right? It's a ladder drill, but wider swing. So put it this way: if you can organise the club, you can move without any other additional thought. The way you move, because you right. rotate well. If you look at your videos, yeah, throughout the last couple of years, one thing you do really well is you you open up nicely. Right. But your body will only open up if the club is in, in a right position place. that lets you open up. Right. Swing up and stop for me. Just a slow one. I don't care about outcome here at all. Stop at the top, wide, stop. It's a little rolly still, do it one more time. So just feel like, go on, go back to your knee height. Just feel like here, the club head is ever so slightly more there, yeah? Right. We're talking an inch. That's it. And then from there, turn to the top, and then you'll feel like it's, if anything, more this side. Yeah. Yeah? That's your feet. It's a tiny change, one inch. Nothing crazy, just one inch in the backswing. Feel like it's working a little bit more up and less round. Up, yeah, like that. Yeah, good. And that was, you did the back thing there. I don't know if you know I you didn't, did it. Didn't. Yeah, so you, well, it looked like you did. I didn't, I didn't, didn't, that, I didn't feel that back thing. So you're all. in a good spot there, right? And this is what will happen. If you're in a good spot at the top, so I'll just demo this this way. Say you're in this on plane position, and then you do the back thing, you're going to be in here. Yeah, will go for the right. But now you, that's what you did there. So now you're in this position. I didn't feel like I did that. I, I think maybe I would, uh, You've been training it a bit. <laughs> okay, slightly more up on the back swing, less round, slightly more wide and up. How did that feel? Yeah. So think about your, so, so if we, in, in conclusion, it's nothing crazy here. Your low point was, you're playing well, headline, yeah? Yeah. Couple of little pieces. Your low point was a little bit too far back. The right. reason with that is you were ever so slightly steep. So we just tweak this. The, the, ultimate, the, end, the, the aim of the game is if we can get it working a little bit more up in the, in the backswing, yeah. that'll get this more online. That means your hand path will actually be working more in front of you. So you'll actually be able to hit more compression iron better. Yeah rather than what you were doing was getting it a little bit across, then thinking I, you subconsciously knew you were steep and then you would just drop the hand path in, cause you to back up and then that, that would happen. Yeah? Tiny change, slightly more up. There you go. So if you think about it in reality, right, really what you're doing, that was, that's much more neutral, okay? Yeah. So if you're, going, if you're going here early, that club is now pointing over there somewhere. Yeah. So, let, so if I let that swing, I'm gonna swing to the right drastically. I'm saying swing it here. So now if I let that swing. Is that where I was hooking it? Yeah, because you've got like this, in here, and if you didn't re if you didn't realign it, you'd probably dump it from the inside, hang back and give it the old. Yeah, we're gone. Let's see another deck. So if you imagine like if I stand here, right, so in the take I'll move, just in the takeaway, feel like the work it up in front of this, just slowly. Just a little chip up in front, that's it. Yeah, go on, I'll move, start again. You can hit one. Work it in front of this on the takeaway, just slowly. So even that I expected to hook there, it didn't it won't because your swing is more up and down. So yeah. think about it, if it's up and down, it's at the target. Yeah. And can't. we want the body doing this, right? The body is rotating, so that's a horizontal thing. But when the arm's working up and down the body, you were just working too much this way. Yeah. I and was. that is from probably from your pitching thing, because you've gone, right, I'm gonna turn everything together and start getting in here. Yeah. <sighs> so take your time, it's all right, a few more. So remember now, if you get shallower, yeah, which you are, without trying to get shallow, you're slightly shallower, just a couple of degrees, yeah. you're more likely to thin it if your body moves the way it used to, yeah? So on the downswing, swing up to the top. If you never want to thin it, swing up and stop. Okay, so you're in this position where it feels more here, good. Now what you can do from here is you can feel like this side of your body is like staying a bit low. Does that feel a bit different to normal? You yeah. feel more like uh, low, you uh, go like, that way, yeah. Uh, left up. Yeah. So that's obviously going to cause thin and fat shots, right? From there. Yeah. Unless you've got a really steep shaft, and then what you do is you throw it into the ball that way. Now you can hit the ground a different way. Right. So what we're saying is you don't have to think about this, just stay a little wider. And my body is my body going up and impact. Yeah. Go around. That's it. Like you're covering it almost. Yeah. This is very similar to the feeling that we had uh, in one of our other lessons. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you remember it, yeah? Just work it up, up on the backswing, and then cover it. <laughs> Shank! Yeah. I mean, maybe not that, maybe not that feel. No, not, don't worry about the feel. Like, listen, don't be just be off put by one shot. One shot. It's not. It's just, it's just unauthentic. So keep something outside your balls of reference. Just miss that tee. Now leave it there. Put it there for a reason. <laughs> right. Don't do this. 
It's got to be from the lower body, yeah? Don't overthink it. Just work up and turn through. Again, still sliding away. A few more. Right, well, I'm going, going that way. Yeah, you can, yeah, is that, you can, I don't know if you can feel it. So as you pull it, go back yeah, to that, that, that thing and the hip yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Now, now if, if the club is slightly more horizontal, right, then you, you can work around more. So just feel like your belt buckle turns towards the target, where you want the ball to go a little bit on the downswing. So smooth, work it up, and then turn towards it. Okay, that was actually really nice. It was a little bit thin, but it was, a, it was like a pro thin. I feel like it was I quite hit, late. I feel like I hit that, though. What do you mean by hit that? Low point was 4.1 after. You hit it one degree from the inside. That was a very, very good swing. So there you go. Now that's a push draw. <laughs> Starting slightly to the right without having to do your back thing or anything crazy. Yeah. It should feel really small. It shouldn't it feel, feel like a lot. I just feel like I kind of I'm all I'm doing it all, all I'm doing is say so coming here. Yeah. I'm just trying I'm gonna take away to go. That's it. And what's that doing? Think about it. In my head I almost thought I go that way, I'll end up fading it, but I'm not. You're not the man you were two years ago, bro. No, I mean like <laughs> I mean like if I go out no we used to say to fade it, go outside the line and yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we don't want, and just to clarify this, I don't want you changing what your hands are doing. So my hands are st like, so you at the moment, your hands were going straight, your wrists were sending it in. Yeah. The hands are going straight, the wrists are keeping it up. It's not like, I don't want you to start going like this. None yeah. of that. No, no, I'm not. Shit feels I'm, normal. I'm totally just going normal. that That's way a it. bit more. That's it. Rather than what we are doing here. Yeah, well, you've been driving it with a little draw, right? So I don't want you to change that. You like that. Let's just make well, sure. I'll just, show, I'll just show you what the, 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 how it works with Vax. It does hook it a little bit, though. Well, we don't want to hook it, do we? Let's, I'll try what you just said. I'll try and put that into a driver swing. Yeah, OK. Don't mind it, right? As in, you can see that started. Think about the start line, right? So in terms of where you're aiming, that started 25, 30 yards right. And try to draw. It will draw it with no true. wind but it's going to move 30 yards. Right, that, that's right. Right. So we'll try one with... So let me just show you the swing. It's not bad, but look, you'll see it. So it goes a little in, yeah. right, which I don't necessarily mind too much. Little cross, hair steep. So the hands now are behind. Can yeah. you see that? The hands are behind, which means, although it appears shallow, so it's the, same as the, the hands it's are the steep. the same as the irons, isn't it? It's the same. And then you get a little bit trapped and you swing it from the inside, yeah, you know, quite considerably from the inside. So you're going to hit big push draws. If you want to hit a 35 <laughs> yard push draw, that's your, that's your swing bro. <laughs> okay, I much prefer that. Club base was a tiny bit closed, but you see this, how much tighter that started? Yeah, it was. It started down the hole rather than starting right rough. And you think it's massively different, but look, just a little bit less in. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's it. Like it doesn't need to be, and then at the top it doesn't cross over as much. Yeah. Even though you go a bit long, but it's still not as much. And then look. Even though it's long, it's not look, where you, look where your hands are there. Would you say they're behind or in front? In front. Right, one before, you go a little bit more in, you can see it, yeah. you get a little bit more across, and now are they behind or in front? Behind. That's it, tiny. You can see it clear as day in that. There you go, look at that. That's a tight draw now. That's a bomb. I'm worried that got to play you in a match after this. Yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> there you go. Uh, right, that is that. Minimal things, don't try and change too much, especially in summer. But I hope that helped as much as it helped me. As always, my lessons are your lessons. Uh, but yeah, get in the comments, did it help?